Very glad to get a break of like that early in the morning. And Mountjoy didn't score again from that point. Davis took the frame 112 to 15. Let's move right on to the next, the 20th of the 35 scheduled in the match. Davis at the table, and there's the situation. 3-7. One. Nicely on the red for the center pocket. Six. Nice run through here to get the right angle on the blue. And we're going to see Steve back amongst Seven. these reds again. It's a very bad situation here for Doug Mountjoy. He's opened the reds up with that last shot. Could cause him many problems here. Perfect onto the the red to move the one red away that had the black cut off from one pocket. He takes this red, the black's then on for both corner pockets. Surging. Ideal for break building. himself at a position on that Steve black. Davis. Cue ball not running through far enough and he leaves it on the lip of the pocket. <laughs> 17 points in it at the moment. But perhaps more important are the three frames. Himself very awkward. left himself short on the blue. He's got to force the blue now, take the white ball to the end cushion and back down to the reds. Fourteen. Well, there is an extraordinary situation. Doug Mountjoy here, such a brilliant putter, left with a very open situation, takes a red a black, 
the blue and finds himself snookered. Six reds spread over the top end of the table. To catch the yellow with the white ball was a bad shot, but uh, he's still unlucky to be behind the green, but he's in some real trouble here because all the reds are on, which makes it exceedingly difficult to hit a red, as he must do, and get them safe. He's out of the snooker, but he's into trouble. Twenty-five points ahead now. Twenty-two. so cool and calculated. And I think he got a kick there. Yes, he's had several this morning, uh, Ted, but I'm inclined to think on that particular shot, he didn't cue particularly well at the ball. This, he looks super cool, but uh, of course he isn't. He's under plenty of pressure as well. And I think that uh, stroke, he more or less dropped his cue onto the white ball and uh, stunned it, gave it a stun effect instead of running it through. But um, what we are seeing, of course, is Steve taking his opportunities and Doug isn't. And that's the big difference. 31. As you see, he's 34 points ahead at the moment there is a possible 35 points on the table. checking the score there to see whether he'll try and pop this blue or whether he'll lay a snooker on the last red. He's in a very strong position to take the frame. And he's calling for the half butt. Is he about to 
attempt to cut this black in? Or will it be safety? I think what he may have in mind here, Ted, is to cut the black across behind the red to have the pink and the black on both sides of the red and the white ball up behind a balk colour. And what has he done here? He's played the red too hard and it carried right across the end cushion over the pocket and he failed to get cover with a snooker as well. And I think this will not Steve another very important frame. One. Doug Mountjoy then, now in dead trouble. <coughs> Six. Eight. Forty two points ahead with only twenty five points on the table. formality now for Steve Davis to take the lead by four frames. Steve Davis, 11. 45 ahead, just 22 on the table. Again, a hopeless position for Doug Mountjoy, so Davis took that frame as well.